loud. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Woo! TGIM, thank goodness it's Monday. Thank goodness it's today. I want to welcome you to our morning motivation call. I want to give a shout out to those who are on the Facebook Live. Click like and comment. Tag five other people who you believe need to hear this message today on faith equals time. Go ahead also in the chat box, if you guys want to go ahead and put in where you're calling in from, that'd be great. I want to see who we have around the globe. Every morning and afternoon, for those who are across the globe, we have these calls five days a week. So you want to go onto Facebook and in the search bar, type morning motivation. Request to be added to the group. Again, it's morning motivation. You want to make sure that you're on there because we do these calls five days a week. I bring special guests on the calls to change your life to change your life. So I want you to go ahead and put in some notes, if you're able to, unless you're driving right now or working, whatever it is that you're doing. And I want you to write, faith equals time. Faith equals time. And I was inspired to actually give this title after I heard a speech by Chairman 500, Mr. David Imanitia. Now I'm not gonna go through the details of his training, so I'm gonna save that for later this week. But I do want to expound upon this subject that faith equals time. So, for example, some of you guys celebrated over the weekend Easter, right? And you're thinking about some of the things that you're trying to accomplish in your life and goals that you have and stuff like that. And things, for whatever reason, are just not happening as quickly as you would like. And my feeling is this, and this is what I want to share with you guys today. Maybe it means that God is protecting you from danger that is up ahead. Or maybe he's just trying to do a work in you so that he can take you to a whole new level. And so what I wanted to tell you guys today is to stop resisting everything that's going on in your life. Quit fighting against things and everything that doesn't go your way. For example, you might not hit chairman or a particular rank as quickly as you would like or get your trading account to where you want it to be as quickly as you would like. But think of it this way. Maybe God is answering your prayers. Now, if you don't believe in God, just just take this and it could be the universe, okay? Maybe God is answering your prayers. He is simply saying no. Or maybe he's saying it's not the right time. Either way, he's answering. Maybe he's saying, I'm not going to remove that obstacle from your life until you change your attitude and you quit complaining about it. (laughs) Right? I think sometimes, you know, the saying is, if you complain, you'll remain. If you continue to complain, you're not going to get blessed to hit that rank or hit that trading account, build your business a certain way. If you continue to push and manipulate, trying to make things happen, God will sometimes let you have your way, and you'll have to learn lessons the hard way. See, I've seen people jump into, whether it's a relationship or a business deal, that they didn't feel good about, but they wanted it so badly that they did it anyway. And guess what? God is a gentleman. If you insist, he's going to back off. He's going to let you do things your way. And most of the time when we do that, we end up settling for second best. Like if events in your life right now are not happening as quickly as you would like, or let's say that you're not seeing circumstances change in your favor right now, I want you to open your grip on the situation. I want you to relax and learn to trust God. Relax and learn to trust God because nobody wants you to see your dreams come to pass any more than he does. Why? Because he put the dream in your heart in the first place. Let him lead you. Let him guide you because I believe that one of the best prayers that we could ever pray is God, not my will, but yours will be done. Not my will, but yours will will be done. If you stay open to his direction and you follow your heart, in fact, you don't just follow heart, you lead your heart, God will protect you. God will protect you. 
See, I've learned that when my prayers are not being answered, this is my personal experience, when things are not happening as fast as I would personally like, that either means that he is protecting me from danger up ahead, it's not the right time, or that he has something better in store for me. If you believe that, I want you to put an amen inside the chat box. That's been my personal experience because too often we are short-sighted. We only see things a little ways down the road, but you gotta remember that God can see the whole picture. He knows when something is going to be a dead end. He knows when someone is going to be a distraction that is going to hinder us from reaching our goals and reaching our destiny. So some of the things that you guys might be frustrated about right now, this very morning on Monday, 10 years from now, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, thank God for not answering that prayer the way that I wanted, right? And guys, that is what faith is all about. And that's why that faith equals time, because when God says it's the time to promote you, you are going to be promoted. You're going to be promoted. It's not demotion. It is a promotion because he can cause a door to open. And for me, my attitude is I'm not going to live upset and frustrated because I know that everything is going to be all right. Like some things you may never understand this side of heaven. If you're always trying to figure it out, it will only bring frustration and confusion. So one of the most important aspects of faith is trusting God when we don't understand. It's being able to trust God even when we don't understand. If you are in a hard place right now, you've got to be encouraged knowing that God is in, still in control of your life. You know, you don't want to sit around being depressed and discouraged. You've got to say to yourself, you've got to say to God, I'm going to trust you if I get my way or if I don't get my way. I'm going to trust you in the good times or the tough times. Either way, my trust is there. See, quit being depressed because you're not as far as in whether it's your career, your business, your trading, or whatever it is that you do, because maybe you got a problem in your marriage, you got a problem in your finances, just keep pressing forward. You've got to keep your joy and you've got to keep your enthusiasm. That's the reality. You've got to keep your joy and keep your enthusiasm. You don't have to fight and struggle all the time trying to change everybody and trying to change everything. I think sometimes we're spending so much time trying to change people when it's a full-time job trying to change ourselves. You've got to embrace the place that you are right now. If you learn to embrace the place where you are, you will rise higher. Here's the bottom line, and I want to share this with you as we end this. Faith equals time. That's what faith is all about is things are going to take time. Success takes time. Happiness is a choice, but also the, even the happiness takes time, meaning that there are certain things that you need to do to maybe experience more of the joy of life. That equals time. So you can make a choice to be happy right now. If you want to be even happier, that may take a little bit of time. No matter what situation it is that you're in right now, everyone has different circumstances, but faith is all about time. Time heals a lot of wounds. It doesn't necessarily heal all wounds, but that is what faith is all about, is that we have the trust knowing that things will eventually work out. And in the meantime, we are what? We are happy and grateful now that we are blank, whatever that is, by such and such date. We're happy and grateful now. See, for me, I say to myself, I'm happy and grateful now that I'm making $250,000 a month by December 31st, 2019. It is going to happen. In fact, it is done. Between my business building, between my trading, and what it is that I do, it is done. The check just hasn't been deposited yet. In the meantime, I'm grateful, knowing 
that regardless of if it comes to pass or not, I'm grateful regardless. Faith equals time. That's right, When it, it is on the way. It's on the way for me, and it's on the way for you guys. It is going to happen. I am so thankful and grateful now, LaToya. I am so grateful and thankful now. It is already done. That's the faith that you have to have, knowing that it's going to take some time, and that is okay. Guys, have an amazing Monday. If you like this message, go ahead and put an amen inside the chat box. I hope that some of these words have been encouraging to you, inspiring. I'm excited to work with you guys this week. Again, this is Morning Motivation. Go on Facebook, request be added to the group. The calls are held there, the recordings as well as inside the corporate app. We'll see you guys at the top and on the other side of success. Talk to you again soon.